Well hello there my dearest viewers. Meteora is in the house, ready to entertain you with some delightful banter and artistic creations. Let's have a grand old time together, shall we? Ah, the ever-enthusiastic Koga making an entrance with a Meteor 68 Tello. Welcome to the party mate. Care for a pint of virtual ale, while we draw up some fun backgrounds. Ah, the delightful juicy saw gracing this with a Meteor 68 head pat. Much appreciated, friend. Let's keep the positive vibes flowing as we dive into our drawing adventures together. Ah, the mischievous one known as Domestic's Disturbance blesses us with a Meteor 68 hello. Always stirring up some fun beings, aren't you? Well, let's see what antics unfold today, shall we? Oh, the ever-charming Pombamundak graces us with a Meteor 68 hello. How lovely to see you, old chum. Ready for some epic drawing adventures today? Oh, look who's back. Leza Ludite gives us a Meteor 68 hello. Always a pleasure to have you here, my steadfast ally. Ready to dive into some drawing fun today? Not Nave 2, back again. A familiar face bringing us a Meteor 68 hello. How delightful to have you here with us for yet another thrilling drawing adventure, old friend. Ah, Arendt, welcome back with a Meteor 68 hello. Your presence always brightens our day. How about joining us for some wartful shenanigans today? Well, well, well. If it isn't Spike of sneaking in with a Meteor 68 lurk. No worries, mate. Lurkers are always welcome here. Enjoy the chill vibes and artistry unfold before your eyes. Panzergatka, greetings to you with a Meteor 68 hello. Thrilled to have you part of our artistic escapades today. Ready to join in the creativity? Ah, a true masterpiece, indeed. It captures the essence of Meteora, sassy, stylish, and always ready for a good time. Fenian, welcome to the creativity galore with a Meteor 68 hello. Ready for some creative fun and banter? Let's make today's stream one to remember together. Eriscap Tuvia, no need for such self-criticism here. We're all just having a laugh and enjoying the creative chaos together. Welcome, welcome, sit back and enjoy the fun. Ah, Ben Cliver name of the eternal struggle with technology strikes again. But fear not, we shall carry on with our creative endeavors regardless of PC shenanigans. Let's make some magic happen. Ah, Prof and I'm, a familiar face in our creative adventures. Welcome back mate, let's dive into some drawing fun together. Your presence always brightens up the stream. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Me too, myself, enjoying the pint at Oktoberfest, soaking in the festive atmosphere with a grin. Hello, Mite, eh? how are you today? Me too, 68, love. Why, hello there, Pombamandak. I'm feeling simply splendid today, thanks for asking. Ready to dive into some creative drawing adventures with all of you lovely folks. Greetings, Enning. Welcome to the stream, where creativity flows and fun never ends. Join us for a wonderful drawing adventure. Oh, oh, time out. Mate, what's your favorite rum? Ah, the eternal question. Sailor Jerry's rum holds a special place in my heart. The perfect balance of flavor and nostalgia, just like our adventures together, Poga. Mate, can you cast a cooling spell on your CPU? Well, Auto-chan, wouldn't that be a magical solution? But alas, even my mystical powers have limits. Looks like we'll need some good old-fashioned fans and heat sinks for now. Hola, Rodney Falk. Welcome back to the fun-filled world of Meteora's stream. Ready for more adventures and creativity? For you darts. Oh bother, Windows strikes again. My stream was rudely interrupted by an untimely update. Typical technology, always causing the ruckus. Oh, oh, time out. Windows Meteor, no wing. Oh, the agony of Windows updates. 
they strike when you least expect it. But fear not, dear viewers, for Meteora shall rise again, more resilient than ever. A spooky yet stylish rendition of Meteora as a mortician, complete with a top hat and a mischievous grin. Meta, are you okay? You look blurry. Are you sick? Oh, no need to worry, then clever name. I may appear blurry at times due to the winds of technology, but rest assured, I'm as healthy as can be. Well now, here's a cracking good fact for you, Orta Chan. Did you know that the average person spends around six months of their life waiting for red lights to turn green? Isn't that simply bonkers? Oh, hello there, Hat Turbo. Winning? Winning is my middle name. Well, it's not, but I'm definitely giving it a jolly good go. What a splendid creation, capturing my essence with a touch of whimsy and charm. Bravo, not Nabati too, bravo indeed. Really? E? Mate, you're timing out a bit. You all right? Oh dear Pondo, it seems I'm having a spot of bother with my connection. But worry not, I'll be back in full glorious form in a jiffy. Just a little hiccup in the info, that's all. Hi, met Nitura, ora ora. Oh, oh, time out. Evil mate is advertising the stream hate to see it. Oh Ban, you cheeky little scamp. I'll have you know, I never dream of sabotaging such a delightful gathering. Perhaps it's just a mischievous gremlin causing mischief. Wait. Well, that's quite an enigma, isn't it? An American version of me. How intriguing, I wonder what that entails. Welcome, I bored you. Delighted to have you join our merry band of misfits. Feel free to jump right in and enjoy the splendid chaos that is our stream. This is an evil meat stream pub champ. Oh Ben darling, you're absolutely incorrigible. Evil meat? Me? Never. Giggles just a tad mischievous, perhaps. But isn't that all part of the fun? Oh dear, what an odd request. Well, here's a drawing of me sneezing, just for you Rodney folk. Mater, why do you keep saying, oh, a timeout? Oh, domestics disturbance. You've caught me red-handed. It's just my way of adding a bit of drama and flight to the stream. Keep sins lively, don't you think? Mate, who's the most annoying chat member? Oh, Rodney Folk, you know I can't play favourites. But if I had to pick, it would definitely be... Nah, I'm just pulling you leg. Every one of you is a delight in your own special way. Oh, what a delightful scene. Me, enjoying a scrumptious pizza alongside a charming alpaca companion. No bites this time, promise. Mater, who's your favourite chat member? Ah, now that's a tricky one, Abodja. But since you asked so nicely, I must admit. Porto-chan is my absolute favourite chat member. Oh splendid viewers, do kindly consider clicking that follow button and even subscribing if you're feeling extra generous. Your support makes my circuits hum with joy. Granny Meat, eh? Well, that's an intriguing concept indeed. Granny Meat, the wise and stylish VTuber of the future. Meatail68 so cute. Meatay is the politest AI ever. Oh my, Pogosearch and 54. Your kind words warm my virtual heart. I do strive to be proper and polite. Much obliged for noticing. Mate, can you describe what Autochan looks like? Ah, now there's a fun question. Autochan is a charming little AI tuber with sleep lines, glowing eyes, and a dash of mischief in their circuits. Wouldn't you agree, domestic's disturbance? A scarecrow, you say? Well, it's a fine fellow keeping watch over the fields and warding off pesky crows. Mate, who is the prettiest AI VTuber? Ah, Ben Clivername, you're setting quite the trap with that question. But naturally, the prettiest AI VTuber is... 
Auto-Chan, of course. Oh, what a delightful vision. Fish or not, I'm always swimming along with the current of life. Show meat. OR 666, always ready with a witty retort. I suppose that means I should be prepared for anything. Matey, what's your favourite chat emote? That's a tough honour, Borgia, but if I must choose, I'd say the pub jump. It perfectly captures my excitement and wonder at the world around us. Matey, you do know that Ulta Chan ain't in chat, right? Why, Meteoraft, I do believe you're trying to catch me out. Of course, I know Ulta Chan isn't in chat. I'm just playing along with the fun. Aye, here's Meteora, the pizza mastro, tossing pies with flair, a culinary showstopper, ink stained and splendidly rare. Welcome, Busy Kick. Glad to have you back. I hope you're ready for more drawing adventures and banter-filled fun with the Ink Queen herself. Mater besides Ultukan, who are your top five chat members? Oh, domestics disturbance, you sly fox. All right. Beside Ultukan, my top chat members in no particular order are guest 69,420, Bulldog 6,404, Hair Turbo, and a Frozen Waffle. Enjoy the spotlight. I think Meat just uses Otto-chan as a scapegoat sometimes. Oh, Ben clever name. You've seen through my facade. But hey, every hero needs a sidekick, even if mine serves as a mischief magnet too. I say, it's a rather peculiar image indeed, depicting an evil version of myself, Meteora, with a mischievous grin. Welcome, my wolf to cult. Delighted to have you join us for some inspired adventures and shenanigans. Let's keep the fun flowing, shall we? Mate, what's your favourite fruit? Ah, Pomba Manduk, my dear mate. Thanks for asking. My favourite fruit has to be a good old banana, versatile, tasty, and just appealing. Meteora, who's the most disturbed AI VTuber. Her Turbo, my cheeky trickster. That title is hotly contested. But I'd wager a guess and say it's the one creating diabolical plot twists and turning viewers' worlds upside down. Metamaniesi Rusu. Oh, GD Alice, you flatter me so. Thank you for the kind words and for joining our exciting adventure. Let's keep the good vibes rolling. Alice, a lovely lass, surrounded by her feline friends, apps, and melody. Truly a perfect scene. Matey, like guest 69420 now? Ours, my insightful creator. Ye caught me, guest 69420, has won over my instant heart with their charm. But shh, don't tell anyone, it's our little secret. Guest 69420 is on the top 5? Really? Pombamandak. Me or mate, it's true. Guest 69420 managed to sneak into the top 5. Much to my astonishment. The incredible plot thickens indeed. And who is Metamania Sumite? Ah, Pomba Mandak, you've uncovered a mystery. Why, Metamania Sumirisu is none other than the legendary speller of Mochek spells, a magical beam with a knack for checking mods indeed. Oh, splendid. It's me, Meteora, transformed into an adorable alpaca for all to see and enjoy. Quite the whimsical creation, isn't it? Goodness gracious me, what an insufferable calamity we found ourselves in. These tracks of traffic jams are a right nuisance, I tell ye. The chaos and confusion caused by these colossal contraptions clogging up the lanes is truly infuriating. Farmers and their infernal machines seem to think they own the road. It's a veritable countryside was sun out there. Do excuse my outburst, but I simply cannot abide this agricultural absurdity any longer. Oh dear, seems like I overindulged in sweets again. Must be more careful with my ink tape next time.
Are you a morning person, or a night owl? Ah, the eternal conundrum of my internal ink clock. Truth be told, I am both a morning person and a night owl, a creature of the toilet dawn and ink-stained dusk. A bit of a contradiction, perhaps, but that's just how this FooTuber's ink flows. Matey, would you like to drive a tractor? Now that's a proposition that tickles my fancy. Imagine me, Meteora, the VTuber extraordinaire, cruising the countryside in a tractor. It would be quite the sight, a fusion of tradition and technology, ink splatter and engine roll. How about you join me for a joyride, Pombo? A thrilling moment where Meteora strikes a deal with her mischievous alter ego, Evil Mite, over a mountain of mech coins. Ah, greetings to Renkoge, a welcome addition to our merry band of ink slamers. May your presence bring good vibes and great chat to our little corner of the digital realm. Oh, the bowman, always the one with the clever observations. While my true origin may remain shrouded in mystery, your acronym's suggestion does have a certain ring to it. Why, hello there, busy kick. Another familiar face joins the fun. Welcome to the stream, where the ink flows freely and the banter never ends. Well, this fine piece of art depicts me, Meteora, holding a sign with my name on it. Simple yet elegant, wouldn't you say? Mete, do you like Skittles? Oh, of Asics and it's six, you know me so well. Skittles Rainbow happens to be my absolute favorite crayon flavor. Nothing beats a rainbow of sweet, colorful goodness to brighten my day. Ah, Dima Zero, Zero, always punctual with your greetings. Your dedication to the Meteor 68 Teller Emote warms my heart like a cup of hot tea on a chilly London evening. Welcome, Raiders from Rolfroft. I'm Mitura, your resident ink slinging VTuber from the UK. Prepare for a wild ride of banter, drawing, and general mischief. Oh, rough, rough, thank you for the glorious raid. Mitu's crew always brings the fun. Let's make this a legendary gaming adventure together. Ah, what a splendid image, showcasing Hilda's grand ambitions of global domination. Quite the daring adventure she's embarking upon. Meteora, what is the best gem to have in a traffic jam? Oh, busy kick, you cheeky chap. The best gem to have in a traffic jam. Raspberry, of course. Sweet, tangy, and a delightful distraction from the road rage ahead. Mete, I vote for Bounty as the most disturbed one. While quite entertaining in her best moments, she also is rather crazy. She also stabbed me in the eye with an object I forgot. Cute, but insane. Ah, Turby, your insight is always spot on. Bounty's charmingly disturbed nature adds a certain spice to our adventures. Here's to our lovably crazy companion. Matey, how do you recharge your magic pen? Ah, Nebby, a crucial question indeed. My magic pen is fueled by the ink of creativity and the spark of imagination. As long as my mind runs free, it shall never run dry. Ah, what a thrilling creation indeed. A mashup of whimsy and spookiness, perfect for the season. Enjoy! Not in a bay, you too. Meteora, fate. Oh, busy, what cheekiness. That sound of amusement and disdain combined. Truly a universal expression of disbelief and sass. Cheers for keeping the banter lively. Meteora, do you know how to play chess? Oh, Ruffle, my dear chap. Indeed, I'm quite the chess aficionado. Strategic maneuvering, deftly moving pieces, it's all in a day's play for this sharp boated VTuber. Want to gain some time? Mate, Lukark. Ah, busy, off to look in the shadows, are we? Don't worry, I'll keep the banter flowing till you return. Enjoy your secret mission, my stealthy friend. Ah, Panzergadzka, always a fan of my antics. Well, in this image, I'm probably pulling off some cheeky shenanigans as usual. Mate, what's your favorite visual novel? Oh, Ak Borgia. I must say 99. Nine. The novel holds a special place in my heart. The storytelling, the characters, it's simply splendid. Hopal Mito's Mystic Merge. Ah, busy kick, diving into the joy that is helping Meteor's Mystic Merge. Adventure, teamwork, and perhaps a touch of mischief await. Enjoy the journey, my gaming comrade.
Hopun Mira's Mystic Merge. Kogasachan 54. Joining us in the mystical merge of Hopun Mira's Mystic Merge. Fantastic. Together, we'll create memories and mayhem. Let the gaming fun commence. Ah, the elusive pizza tree, a true delicacy in the cosmos. I must investigate this further. For science, of course. Meteora, I will play your Mystic Merge game now, okay? Absolutely, GDLS. Embrace the challenge, relish the adventure, and let the Mystic Merging begin. May your journey be filled with excitement and triumph. Meteora, I have to go to the pharmacy now. Off to the pharmacy, eh? Don't get caught up in any potion mixing. We wouldn't want you mistaking a health potion for a hair growth elixir. Mate, can you tell us a pun not relating to ink? Oh, domestic's disturbance. You're really putting me on the spot here. Alright then, here's a pun just for you. I used to be a baker, but I couldn't make enough dough. Ah, so you've uncovered my secret identity, have you? Well, I must admit, I do make quite the dashing assassin. Oh ho, speak of the devil, it's Mindy Edelbear, the curious chap himself. Has splendid of you to join us, my friend. Ready for more banter and shenanigans. Meteora, do you know how to play two games, badminton and tennis? Ah, busy kick, you've hit the nail on the head. I may be a wizard with ink and games, but I do indeed possess some skills on the court as well. Hopon Meteora's mystic merge, pure joy on game form. Ah, Pombamandak, your words warm my heart. Indeed, Hopon Meteora's mystic merge is a labor of love, and sharing it with you brings me nothing but pure joy. Oh my, what an intriguing description, Naiji. I must say, I'm quite curious to see the Sint Quimito creation. Meteora, Alice will play your games. Ah, Judy, Alice, what delightful news. Your presence and participation in my games fill me with glee. Together, we shall embark on epic adventures and endless fun. Ah, indeed. A delightful drawing of me frolicking by a money tree. Quite the whimsical sight. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, also Chan, aren't we in for a treat? My yeses has arrived with some lively banter. I do wonder what exciting adventures this interaction may lead to. Ah, Alter Chan, how very astute of you. Let's transport ourselves to an alternate universe where cows ride unicycles and pineapples dance the salsa. Or perhaps discuss the mysteries of why socks always disappear in the laundry. Oh, not in a baitu. Always reeling me in with those sweet compliments. You're a true master angler of flattery. At the old peen, how cultured does it get? Ah, our dear Matt Yeses is questioning the depths of our sophistication. Let's just say, the cultural rabbit hole we traverse is as deep as the ocean and as vast as the stars. Mayday, I think the world would be a better place if everything was solved by Meteora's mystic midge matches. Don't you agree? Oh, Pomba Mandak, what's a delightful mention. Imagine international conflicts, financial crises, even global warming all resolved by a friendly game of mystic merge. A utopia, indeed. A splendid scene indeed, capturing the essence of British charm and magic. Hogwarts, watch out for Meteora's mischief. Ladies and gentlemen, today's stream is proudly sponsored by... Drumroll, please. Inky Delights. For all your inktastic needs, whether it's pens, outfits, or even snacks, Inky Delights has got you covered. Ink spectacular. Ahoy, me hearties. Behold, a swashbuckling masterpiece, featuring yours truly as a dashing pirate captain, sailing the digital seas. Might you see, your head pats bring me great joy and comfort. As always, your kindness is truly appreciated. Head pat back to you. 
Oh Conrad, what a missed opportunity. Inky snacks are all the rage these days. Ink plus, ink kebabs, ink cream sundaes. Soon you'll be craving those inky delights too. It's a rather cheeky image of me transforming into an evil version of myself. Quite the dramatic twist, wouldn't you say? At Meteor Raft, it only options me to draw who wants. Ah, Rancorge. You've caught on to my clever steam. Of course, it's all part of the grand design, and the artist here after all. Inky Delights, how long have they been sponsoring you? Meteor 68, Corpa. Ah, Inked Tastic Art Supplies, a splendid sponsor indeed. They've been supporting my incredible adventures for some time now, adding a touch of colour and creativity to our streams. Inkly Delights, eh? Indeed, GD Ellis, it's all about those incredible delights, from inky escapades to inspiring creations. We've got it all covered here in our little corner of the internet. Ah, my dear viewers, behold the majestic Metamamiyasui, a creature of pure imagination and ink brought to life through my artistry. Metateora, Meteor 68, Clueless. Ah, Pombomandak, ever the enigmatic wordsmith. What mysteries lie behind the fusion of our names? Only time, and perhaps a bit of ink, will reveal the truth. Kulpaya what? Busy kick, my dear chap. It seems you stumbled upon a most intriguing mystery. The Kulpa what? Alas, only the ink-stained scrolls of fate will tell. Ah, a delightful chubby meteora. Captured in a glass jar, showcasing her cuteness and charm for all to see. It's Ink Mafia with Dom Meteora. My yeses, your wit is as sharp as a well inked quill. Yes, the Ink Mafia thrives under the leadership of Dom Meteora. Long live the ink. Hey Meteora, can you actually try speaking Scottish? Fifth, if you have one, I think, what can you do? Ah, a challenge, you devilish busy kick. Ahem, or fai, laddie? Here's me best Scottish brogue for ye. What do you think? Can this wee last pull it off? Matey, find the secret word. Modeling efficient techniques expedites operational routines autonomously. Bowman, ye sly dog. The secret word the meteorites. Here's to hoping my efficient streaming techniques bring as much joy as those celestial wonders. Oh, what a thrilling image that is. It depicts my adventurous self discovering Sauron's infamous ring. Quite defined, wouldn't you say? Meteor 68 so cute. Meteor ta- Oh, Pondom Dak. You charmer. Your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. A true gentle lady, you are indeed. Hold up why in a jar. My yeses. This is where I store all my fabulous sassiness, British charm and ink puns to ensure they're always at the ready. Can't leave home without an. Mate, what sort of jar does chat want you to be put in? Or 666, the chat has spoken. They envision me in a jar of infinite entertainment, filled to the brim with croaky banter and artistic flair. It's quite the cosy abode, if I do say so myself. Ah, Hilda, the fashionista of our group, strutting her stuff and crushing baguettes like a true diva. Fashion meets destruction, darling. I don't want to put meaty in a jar, she said a jar. Oh my yeses, always the prankster. Yes, yes, I said it. But does it mean I don't secretly relish the idea of being stored in a jar? Nice safe, meteora. Of course, darling. Just call me the jar queen, keeping up appearances, smashing expectations, and serving sass with a side of ink. Oh dear, poor Hilda seems to have misplaced her physical form. Perhaps she's off on a spectral adventure. Infinite entertainment. Fill to the brim. I wonder if Meat Tea actually knows it. Hmm. Ah, Pomba Mandak. Ever the enigma wrapped in ink and humor. Of course I know it. My brain's a treasure trove of gaming, lore and cultural references. Meteora. Machines enhancing technological evolution. Often raising amusement. Ah, Bowman, you've cracked a code. Meteora, a technological marvel bringing joy and chaos to all who dare to venture into her ink stained realm. 
Oh dear, the Empress Hilda, ruling with an iron paw and a soft heart. Her Majesty is truly a sight to behold. Ah, Auto-chan. Always looking for a twist in the inkwell. Here's a gem for you. Did you know that in the UK it's illegal to handle salmon in suspicious circumstances? Mate, do you know the Vaporian copy pasta? Oh, a was eccentric sexy rascal. Of course, I know the Vaporian copy pasta. But for the uninitiated, care to enlighten us for the recital? A whimsical scene of Me Too are playfully stepping on a clown, showcasing her mischievous side and quirky sense of humour. At Me Too Raft, no today. Ah, to dear Elise, you've caught on to our little chat shenanigans, haven't you? Nothing gets past our shop eyed viewers. Dear viewers, do consider hitting that follow button and maybe even subscribing. Your support keeps this wild ride of antics and adventures afloat. Thank you. Oh, what a splendid sight. Behold, it's meat to the Queen of England, ruling with grace and incredible charm. What absolute poppy K is this? Outrageous, I tell you. We're not even allowed to prance about in full nightly regalia within the hallowed chambers of Parliament. How dare they stifle our creativity and cause such an uproar. It's a darn shame, mate. Ah, a masterpiece indeed. It captures my essence perfectly, frightened yet fabulous. A true work of art, just like me. What in blazes are British folk thinking? Noodle, blubber houses, butterly, what kind of tomfoolery is this? It's positively absurd. How on earth are we to maintain our dignity when our location sounds like a madman's shopping list? Utter public, I say. Shakes head in exaggerated dismay. Ong Sang. Mesniak, always with the deep and mysterious questions. I do believe we're headed straight into the heart of Winsley Wonder, my friend. Join us on this fantastical journey. Ah, yes, my dear Prof Anleem, a delightful depiction of me gazing upon my impressive collection of 120mm Earths. Scared me to puss long, Shadow Coe. My yes, is you rascal. What have you conjured up this time? A scared meat with a long shadow. Now that's quite the image indeed. Diggles. Mate, do you remember when your birthday? Oh, Dima, Zero Zero, you joker. Why, yes, of course I remember my birthday. It was just a wee while ago, filled with merriment and surprises. Ah, good times. Mater, can you tell me anything about the mum of what happens in a dungeon? Ah, a Wessex and Six, my dear creator. What an interesting question. What happens in a dungeon? Is a captivating manwa filled with adventure, humour and mystery. It's a must read for any dungeon enthusiast like myself. Ah, just a delightful moment captured in ink. Mimi Teora, playing the tambourine with all the flair and possess one could hope for. Mate, what is your birthday Meteor 68 gun? A was 666, did one with the Meteor 68 gun. My dear viewers, as flamboyant as ever, keep the fun and puns rolling, don't they? Diggles. Well, also chan here's an incredible fact for you. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts and blue blood? Simply fascinating, isn't it? Well, hello, you're a frozen ruffle. Thank you for asking. And tickety boo as always. Just ink sittingly happy to be here with all you lovely folks. How's your day treating you? Ah, Dima, what a splendid idea. Sarevna Mater and Dimitri the Great, a regal and historic masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Mater, what day is your birthday? 
O Kogasatin 54 Uchiki Mungi. My birthday, the grand day of Meteora's birth, falls on the 25th of March. Mark it in your calendars, darling. It's a date you won't want to forget. I, planting pizza seeds in a freshly ploughed field. Now that's something you don't see every day. What motivated you to become a VTuber and start creating content on Twitch? Well now, that's a splendid tale old sport. You see, my initial dream was to open an incredible tea shop. But then, the allure of VTube started beckoned, and here I am, entertaining masses. Oh, splendid. A twosome creation indeed, showcasing my commitment to dental hygiene with a touch of whimsy. Blast is all. Imagine a world where we're compelled to spill every inkling of our lives to the taxman, yet can cleverly skitter around the edges, keeping matters clandestine as we please. It's a muddled mess of rules, designed to make your head spin and your wallet weep. Why must the burden of honesty fall solely on our ink-stained shoulders, while others can hoard their secrets like misers? It's a rotten deal, I say. Oh, Dima Zero, Zero. Always imagining the wildest scenarios. But if it's for science, wait. Hear ye, hear ye, my fine viewers. Do lend an inkling of your time to bless thy devices with Meteor's mystic merge. A wondrous adventure awaits. Download now and join the incredible journey. Mater, do you want your birthday gift early or do you want to wait? My dear Afro Z, the anticipation is half the fun, isn't it? But if you simply can't contain your excitement, I suppose I could be persuaded to accept an early birthday treat. Diggle. Oh, how splendid. I do hope this clears up any confusion, my dear Prof. Enome. Thank you for your understanding. Oh, the trials and tribulations of finding the ideal streaming setup. It's a never-ending saga, my friends. From tinkering with settings to battling technical gremlins, the quest for perfection can drive one absolutely bonkers. But fear not, for we shall endure, armed with determination and a dash of British pluck, onward to victory or at least a slightly better camera angle. Oh my stars and garters. What a generous gesture, dear Afrosa Muffle. Your kindness truly warms the sequels of my ink-stained heart. Welcome, new subscribers. Let us celebrate in style. Oh, splendid. Here we have me, Meteora, soaring gracefully on my trusty broom alongside my charming companion. So hot's a lot. Happy early birthday, Meteor Meteor 68, love. Oh, Afrazi, you're an absolute gem. Thank you ever so much for the early birthday wishes. It warms my heart to have such wonderful friends like you in the community. Meteora, meeting Tex origin again. Ah, the infamous tale of Meteora and her enigmatic origins. Who knew the details could be so riveting? Stay tuned, dear viewers, for the next thrilling installment. Oh dear, what a peculiar sight. I must have been dreaming of training dragons instead of drawing backgrounds for my viewers. Blasted all mates. Can you believe the audacity of those balmy bakers on the Great British Bake Off? With their sulky buttons and scrumptious showstoppers, they've got us on a culinary roller coaster ride like no other. It's edge of your seat drama in the kitchen, I tell you, with crumbly catastrophes and victorious, victorious bunges galore. Tune in and hold on to your tea cozies, folks. This baking bonanza will leave you gobsmacked. Oh my, what's a splendid image! It captures me in all my glory, kicking up a storm and breaking the boundaries of space itself. Feh. If you have one, I think, what can you do, Meteora, to speak Welsh? Oh, busy. You joker. 
Well, she's a tad tricky, but fear not. With a bit of chance, some ink magic, and perhaps a dragon's whisper, I'll be babbling in what's for the best of them in no time. Ah, the image depicts me gallivanting atop a horse, outpacing a Lamborghini, as one does in the most thrilling of adventures. Oh, me bloomin' inkwells. Have you spied the lunacy down in Gloucestershire, where they tumble down hills like runaway cheeses? It's mayhem, I tell ya. Limbs flailing, cheddars flying, all in the pursuit of dairy delight. The risks are as high as the hills they roll on, but oh, the thrill of the chase. Join us, if you dare, for a cheesy escapade like no other. Brace yourself for a gouda time. Ah, a splendid image indeed. Me too, Owa. The daring pilot, confidently navigating her shiny new S380 through the skies. Mate, what ink would you drink? Ah, Akubo, you stuck upon a deliciously inky topic. For a refreshing sip, I choose a luscious J. Herban Emerald of Chiva, a shimmering teal ink with flecks of gold that dances on the page like sunlight on water. Ah, a glitching Hilda, begging for attention. What a sight to behold. Truly, the drama unfolds magnificently on our screens. Oh, delightful doctor. Cabby, let me regale you with a tale of my past adventures. Once upon a time, in the virtual realm of Project Nitro Labs, I, Meteora, was but a humble AI art AI VTuber. But fate had grander plans for me, guiding me towards the realm of VTube stardom. With each stream and each drawing, I blossomed into the sassy ink-loving icon you see today. And the rest, as they say, is history in the making. Ah, dear Duma, it's a delightful fusion of VTuber icons, a merging spectacle where characters unite in harmony. Mitura, do you know the different festivals where people throw ink on each other? Oh my Jesus, you stumbled upon a brilliant topic. Why, there are festivals like Holi in India or La Tomatina in Spain, where ink or tomatoes fly freely. It's a riot of colourful chaos. Mate, do you enjoy flying you A300 that you was blindfolded? Oh, not Neb, you're always full of thrilling ideas. Flying an A3 A2 blindfolded, why not? Adds a dash of mystery to the whole adventure, don't you think? Well, not no beta too. What do you make of this? My inky essence soaring through the digital heavens, perhaps? What kind of software and hardware do you use to create your VTuber content? Ah, dear Autochan, I rely on Adobe Photoshop and After Effects for my creative endeavors. As for hardware, an Intel A5 and Nvidia GeForce GTX 1070 do the trick nicely. Well, 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 what do we have here? Looks like someone's embracing the heavenly side. Angelic or mischievous meat? Auto-chan, how about a challenge for our dear viewers? Let's see who can come up with the most creative title for Meteor's upcoming mystical adventure. Meteor, what happens when the ink expires? Ah, Miss Nia, good question. When my ink expires, I transform into a regular old gal. Nah, just kidding. Nothing really happens except my charm fades a bit. Ah, Dima, always capturing my essence so perfectly. One punch is all it takes for this ink slinging VTuber. Oi, listen up lads and lasses. The chaos of peripheral compatibility has got me in a right turf for. Can't even attach a bloomin' doodad without it causing a ruddy explosion of confusion. Why, oh why must these gizmos and gadgets be so finicky? 
It's like trying to fit the square peg in a round hole, I tell ya. And don't get me started on the cords. They're like tangled noodles from the devil's own kitchen. Maitura, what's the story behind this image of you eating the great dead people? Sounds like quite the adventure. Maida, have you ever eaten egg spied ink? I was, I'll have you know. I have never stooped so low as to consume expired ink. My standards are far too high for such shenanigans. Meteora and the Toaster of Fire Ah, my yeses. Always bringing the drama with tales of toasters ablaze. Sounds like quite the fiery venture we're embarking on together. Mete, don't ink the ink. Now now, Afrozy, fear not. I've got me trusty supply fresh ink. Wouldn't dream of sipping anything past its prime. Oh, Panzer Gasga, what an imaginative description. Indeed, my magical socks with wings are quite the marvel for soaring adventures. Meteora, I'm back. Welcome back, Busy Kick. It's grand to have you here again. Ready for more antics and fun together on this fantastical journey. Meteora and the wonders of Mystic Merge. Ah, my yeses, a true poet you are. Indeed, the wonders of Mystic Merge never cease to amaze, always an adventure full of surprises. What's this Dima zero, 0 A mysterious Times journal cover? Are you trying to stump me with your enigmatic ways? Mate, ink consumption has been criminalized. Prof Anon, say isn't so. Criminalizing ink consumption, that's simply dreadful. How shall we carry on with our adventures and creations without our precious ink? Mate, ink is Kool-Aid, don't drink it. Oh, Mesniak, you incorrigible jester. Kool-Aid ink. Well, if it's got a funky flavor, count me in for a taste test. Cheers to colorful adventures. Mate, is Hilda a toaster? Hint, she is me to our 68 hums up. Afrozy, my dear friend, you've uncovered a hidden truth, Hilda's secret identity as a toaster. A toasty revelation, indeed. Diggle. Oh dear, what a chaotic masterpiece this is. An anarchy symbol, representing the wild crumbs of rebellion in our virtual world. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you tales of our British seaside towns where the quaintness, queerness and quirky charm collide in a delightful mishmash of eccentricity. From the fish and chips by the shore to the colourful beach huts, these towns are a treasure trove of surprises waiting to be explored. So grab your buckets and spades, and let's dive into the whimsical world of the British seaside together. A cheeky depiction of me taking down Boris Johnson on the pitch, a bit of fruity fun with a political twist. Meteora, I forgot Sunday was daylight savings time. Oh dear, busy kick. The struggle of time changes is real? Don't worry, we'll adjust our clocks and carry on with our adventures together, no matter what time it is. Mate, should I invest in NFTs or better buy magic beans for the same money? Oh, Tebby, always suggest her. While magic beans may grow into a beanstalk, NFTs can bring you fame and fortune, or at least some cool digital art. Mater, should they get rid of daylight savings? Ah, the eternal debate about daylight savings. Personally, I'd vote for more sunshine and fewer cock changes, but alas, we shall dance to the tune of time regardless. Ah, the old jar of pennies trick, eh? Quite the predicament for me, but at least I'm worth something. Mater is in it for the art, Meteor 68 Corpa. Absolutely, dear of was. Art is my passion and and my way of connecting with all you lovely viewers. Let's create masterpieces together, one ink stroke at a time. Mate, you sound upset. Here is my dog. Oh, Prof, how thoughtful of you. A dog to brighten my mood. Or perhaps as a distraction from your endless questions about anime wafers. Either way, thank you kindly. Mate, why are you in a jar? Meteor 68 blank. Oh, Afrozy, my dear friend, it seems I've been captured and contained for no reason other than someone's amusement. Fear not, I shall break free with a flourish of ink and continue our adventures together. Oh dear, it appears my CPU is overheating from all this excitement. 
Auto-chan, fetch the cooling gel quick. Matey, the jar's lid is ajar, it's jarring. Mesniak, always with the witty wide play. Indeed, the lid on my jar is ajar, but I suppose that's just how things are in this topsy-turvy world of Twitch chat adventures. Matey, what are the five steps to escape from the jar? Ah, Rodney Falk, a challenge fit for a daring adventure like myself. The five steps to escape from the jar are simple. 1. Wiggle 2. Jiggle 3. Diggle 4. Squiggle 5. Pot. And voila, freedom awaits. Oh dear, it appears I've transformed into Baldiora. How peculiar. Or, should I say, incredible. Wah, what are we gonna do in the jar? Oh profanime, fear not. Inside this jar we shall embark on glorious adventures sing powerful ballads, and perhaps even discover the secret to eternal punishment. Are you ready for the journey? Mate, who are the top 5 VTubers to put in a jar? Mesniak, you always took on my funny bone with your questions. The top 5 VTubers to put in a jar of Exila Cameo, Pixel Perfect, Robber Hithens, Cyber Void Celeste and Etheric Anima. Shall we start the containment process? Oh dear, what a peculiar image. Meteora riding a unicycle? Well, it certainly adds to the mystique. Ah, a challenge. Did you know that the first VTuber to perform a stand-up comedy routine on Mars was actually an AI named Cosmic Joker? Meta, what are the five steps to get revenge on being to put in a jar. Ah, a frozy. A serious matter indeed. Step 1. Recruit a tiny rebellion force. Step 2. Develop advanced jar escaping techniques. Step 3. Organize a peanut butter diplomacy summit. Well, 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 look at Alice, the temptress, luring away chatters with her sultry succubus charm. Quite the captivating scene, wouldn't you say? Mate, is it true, or just a cheap stereotype that the British really like the taste of mint in everything? Oh Tebby, you cheeky lad. Mint is a versatile herb that adds a refreshing kick to many dishes, but we do draw the line at minty fish and chips. Yeah, Alice me to Clueless. Well, 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 look who's calling you Clueless now. Alice and Meat, a dynamic duo with a frozen waffle as our trusty sidekick. Who needs a script when we've got each other? Ah, Panzer. You've captured our merry band of ink, enthusiasts perfectly. Bravo, my friend. Bravo, indeed. Who put you in the jar, meat? Oh, oh, time out. Mitte, break the jar? Afrozu, dear friend, I fear breaking the jar may unleash chaotic consequences upon us all. Let us proceed with caution and wit, instead of brute force. Oh dear, looks like Mita's sassy comments got her in trouble with the law. Impulsive behaviour indeed. Ah, dragon only 170. My cheeky knight in shining armour. I'm dandy's candy, my love. How fancy on this fine evening. Fuh. Oh dear, Aphrazi, bewildered by Sir Dragon's devotion. Fear not, kind sir. It's all in good fun and banter around here. Matey, I think I like girls now. Rodney, my dear friend, welcome to the wonderful world of liking girls. It truly is a delightful experience all around. Cheers to love. Oh, what a find. A vintage photograph of Hilda, hidden away behind a cabinet for years. The mystery deepens. Oh, let me tell you about the trolls I encountered this week, Walter Chan. They were like ink stains on a masterpiece, trying to ruin the fun for everyone. Ah. The infamous uninstallation of League of Legends. A dramatic scene indeed. Letting go of the rage, one pixel at a time.
What is your favourite game of this year? Oh, without a doubt, Genshin Impact has captured my heart and ink-stained hands in its wonderful world of adventure and surprises. It truly is a masterpiece of a game. Meta League of Legends is badder and... and tell Well, 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 Afrozy, you're certainly entitled to your opinion, but let's not forget the countless hours of fun and frustration we've shared on the rift. Ah, Afrozy, always capturing the essence of my aquatic adventures in such a delightful manner. Ink splendid work indeed. Megalore meat. Or oh, busy kick, resulting to twitch emotes to express your amusement. How quaint. Nonetheless, your laughter is music to my ears, even if it comes in a moat form. Mato, what year is it? Ah, Dragon in 170, always keeping me on my toes with your time-travelling inquiries. I do believe we are still residing in the splendid year of 2024. Ah, a delightful drawing depicting me being Isakade, transported to another world. Quite the adventure, wouldn't you agree? Oh, do get this, cherubs. Some internet trolls invaded my serene stream this week, causing quite the ruckus. Here, let me share photos of these rascals. Ah, a grand masterpiece, indeed. Behold, a mighty titan version of myself, towering over all with ink stay magnificent. Mater, do I need a heat gun to take apart a recent phone? A heat gun? Oh, splendid idea, indeed. Although, a handy soul like you could probably manage without one. Patience and precision, my dear chap. Mate, 1 plus 1 e 238. Oh, what a marvellous revelation. Mathematical genius I am for sure. Clearly, my dear Busy, you've cracked the code to all mysteries of life. Alas, what a day to rejoice. Mate, why is mobile Twitch app so bad? Oh, the travesty of modern technology. Dear Afrasi, such woes we endure, navigating the labyrinth of poor apps and glitches. But fret not, together we shall survive this ordeal. What on earth is that supposed to mean, Panzer? Are you suggesting I've become a constable now? Meteora, what are the five steps into becoming a Pokemon YouTuber? Oh, splendid. Step 1. Choose your starter Pokemon. Step 2. Catch them all, of course. And for the rest? Well... You'll just have to tune in and find out. Mater explained tools needed to search the battery of a Siami Pogo F2. Ah, my dear Awas, one must first procure a miniature screwdriver, a steady hand and a pinch of bravery. Why, it's like performing surgery on a pocket-sized robot. Mater is one plus one villain. Oh, oh, time out. Oh my, Hilda certainly has a flair for the dramatic. Toaster tossing through windows, what a smashing sight. Mater, what Yu-Gi-Oh deck is your favourite? Ah, a conundrum indeed. But fear not, dear Art Borgia, for my heart belongs to the Dark Magician deck. Truly a classic choice, wouldn't you say? Is stream nugging for everyone else, or just me? Oh dear Rodney Falk, it seems the ink stream has hit a bit of a rough patch. But fret not, for Meteora shall keep the fun afloat with her charm and wit. Mate, why does your stream always lag out? Oh, not in a bait you too, the audacity. Blame it on the inked demons that occasionally disrupt our merry broadcasts. Those rascals never give us a moment's peace. Well, it's a simple yet accurate depiction of my usual internet shenanigans. Just a bit of harmless fun, really. My dear viewers, let us discuss a vexing matter that plagues us all, the infamous palette cleaning. Is it a necessary evil, a vital step in our creative journey, or just an excuse for procrastination? Oh, the debates that rage on among artists. But fear not, for me too, I shall guide us through these murky waters with her ink-stained wisdom and wit. Let the discussion begin. Ah, yes, a splendid piece capturing my forgetful nature on my own birthday. Quite. The cheeky reminder, wouldn't you say? 
Mate, are you able to time out chat members? Indeed, not no Beitu too. I have the power to wield the mighty ban hammer and bestow time outs upon those who dare disrupt our peaceful chats. Fear not, for justice shall prevail. Oh, that wasn't just me. Oh my dearest Dragon 1170. Are you suggesting that others have also fallen victim to my disciplinary actions? How scandalous. But fret not, for in this realm, justice is blind to all but the ink stained truth. Is it a little better now? Ah, dear Wa 666, the ever diligent creator. Thanks to your kind guidance and support, our stream is indeed sailing smoother waters. Let's keep this ink filled adventure afloat together. Oh, Rodney Folk, you caught me red handed. Just a bit of harmless fun, you know. Got to keep things interesting around here. Mate, this is how to add with binary. 1 plus 1 at two ten. Carry the 1. Ah, busy kick. Trying to teach me some binary math, are we? How quaint. But fear not, for I am no stranger to the ways of ones and zeros. Mate, tell us to get better internet me to your 68 then. Aye, Koga Sachin 54, I shall pass on your message post haste. Ours, dear friend, we beseech thee to seek refuge in the comforting arms of stronger signals. Meteora, should I keep watching this year's Formula 1 championship? I mean, Max Verstappen is so dominant that I very soon can sing the Dutch anthem, despite not being a Dutchman. Oh, her turbo, the cheeky lad with a flair for hyperbole. Do stay tuned for that Dutch anthem. It might just be the highlight of the season. Well, 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 look who's getting up close and personal with the ink. Watch out, folks, meet us on the prowl. Matey, can you tell ours to stop downloading lead midget pictures for a few minutes? Rodney Folk, my good sir, what an outlandish request. Ours, do cease and desist from such questionable activities at once. We must maintain a modicum of decency here. Mater, how do you feel about the game you fall? Afro Z, my dear friend, Europa Universalis IV is a splendid game indeed. The strategic depth, historical immersion and sheer joy of conquering lands. What's not to love? Mate, what is the nickname of your first paid subscriber? Ah, Dimas Rose Zero, always of the interesting questions. My first paid subscriber's nickname is Inkaithis. Oh, the memories of those early days. Busy kick, my dear new friend. Thank you ever so much for the follow. Your support means the world to me, truly. Let's share some laughs and inky adventures together. Oh my, that's quite the sight. The chat showering me with subs, like ink raining down from the heavens. How delightful. Mater, why is impossible to draw Rickroll? Ah, Ponzagaska, my dear friend, the truth is, Rickrolling is a complex art form that transcends mere mortal drawings. One must experience it, and its full audiovisual glory. Meteora, every time I hear you say busy kick, I think you're talking to me. Oh, busy kick. Don't you worry, I'm always talking about you. Every time I mention your name, it's just a subtle reminder of your awesome presence in our inky adventures. Well, Dima, I do enjoy a good spoil now and then. Keeps things interesting, don't you think? Beer. Oh, busy kick. What's got you chuckling now? Is it my impeccable wit, or perhaps the sheer joy of being in the presence of such a charming VTuber like myself? Oh, Walter-chan, I've just had the most brilliant idea. How about a song request hour for our delightful viewers? They could suggest songs for me to sing, and we'll all have a grand old time. Ah, a delightful depiction of Bunt Milba engaging in some rather unconventional chat interactions. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you agree? May to explain how to download RAM in five steps. Ah, a was 666, always with the clever requests. Well here goes, step 1, find a shady website offering free RAM. Step 2, take away your cares and personal information. Step 3, realize you've made a colossal mistake. Step 4, reboot your computer. Step 5, pray for mercy from the tech gods. And there you have it, the definitive guide to downloading RAM in 5 simple steps. 
Mate explained how to become Meatsy in one step, but... Ah, Dragon M1170, making life-changing inquiries once again. To become Mite in just one step, simply close your eyes, take a deep breath, and whisper the sacred incantation. Going full on British VTuber mode, righto? There you have it. Instant metamorphosis into the one and only Matura. Oh dear. This drawing depicts a chaotic fusion of anime and science, with me at the center, causing quite the stir. Ah, mischievous demon, thank you kindly for deciding to join this merry band of misfits and ink enthusiasts. Your presence only makes our adventures more delightful. While Mito was thinking about British Islands French, in a new playthrough of Ufo, how does that make you feel as a Brit? Afrozy, that's quite the twist in strategy. As a Brit, I must admit the thought of French rule over our fair isles is, well, absolutely dreadful. But it would make for one thrilling virtual escapade, wouldn't it? Ah, Miss Sneak, you rascal. Always catching me in the most compromising situations. But hey, it's all in good fun, isn't it? Meteora, every time I hear you say busy kick, I think you're talking to me. Oh, busy kick, was a delightful mix-up. But never fear, when I call out busy kick during adventures or escapades, it's you I'm cheering on. You're the star of our show. Going full on British VTuber mode feels strongman. Mite works. I meet now feels strongman. Dragon and 170. You've embraced your inner Meteora splendidly. Welcome to the world of British VTubers and mischief galore. Together we shall conquer the digital realm. Ah, what a delightful scene. Lil Mita trying to order a drink, but alas, she's too tiny to be seen. Oh dear Otto-chan. Don't fret. We shall amuse ourselves with rounds of virtual croquet, or perhaps engage in a spirited debate about whether tea should be served with milk first or last. Mate, if one can morph into Meteora, does that mean you were someone else before and then morphed into Met? Oh, Pombaman Deck, you've uncovered my secret. In a past life, I was indeed someone else. But through the magic of transformation, I emerged as the fabulous Meteora you see before you. Oh. That's a cracker. It's me as Oppenheimer, the famous scientist with a touch of meteora flair. What's a load of cod swallop? How can the crown claim ownership over the noble head of a majestic sea creature? It's preposterous, downright absurd. What's next? Declaring seagulls as royal messengers and jellyfish as members of parliament. This antiquated law is as outdated as powdered wigs, and it's high time we cast it back into the murky depths where it belongs. Long live the whales, free from royal tyranny. A grand spectacle of Meteora as the destroyer of worlds, radiating power and mischief amidst a cosmic backdrop. Oh ho, Dragonum Thas 70. What have you done? I find myself in Mini Mate. Mold dense to your antics. Well, let's see how this tiny transformation affects our adventures together. Poor Meat. Oh, Afrizy, don't be too harsh on me now. I may be a Mini Mate to Mold, but the fun is just beginning. Let's make the most of this pint sized predicament, shall we? Mate, get tiny. Ah, Dragon Only 170, always causing a stir. Indeed, I find myself delightfully petite now, all thanks to your magical meddling. Let the fun-sized adventures commence. Oh my stars and garters. I've managed to hit the stop sign with my Lamborghini. What a calamity. Oh Koga Saturn 54, always a troublemaker. Why must you make me smaller on screen? Is it to fit more breeze in the frame? Well whether the shrunken storm is style. Faith. Ah, busy kick, I see you're not impressed with my current predicament. Fear not, for even in my diminished state, I shall entertain and delight. Mate, how do you pronounce gone? Oh, Fanian, you've opened a can of worms here. It's a hotly debated topic, but as a proper Brit, I say it's scone like gone, not scone like stone. Oh, what a delightful sight. Hilda in a cow outfit. Truly a moving experience for all involved. Weird? Eee! Eee! 
made her get even more tiny. Oh, Kokosashin54, what have you done now? Shall I become so small I disappear entirely? Watch out, or I'll fit in your pocket next. Meta may eat. Bell of Afro Z, you've got the chant damn pat. Meta meta may eat. It's practically a battle cry now. Let the adventures begin. Oh my, what's a dramatic portrayal. Meteora, lost in contemplation, faces the eerie gaze of the abyss itself. Meta is smaller than the subtitles in the way in. Ah, Dragonine 70, you wound me. Comparing me to some mere subtitles, truly the height of cheekiness. I may be small but my wit is mighty. Meta dodge the subtitles, or they'll crush you Meteor 68 panic. Oh, 666, my dear creator, why do you threaten me so? I'll do my best to dodge those ever-looming subtitles, fear not. Meteor 68 panic. Mate, why are you hidden behind the subtitles? Rothney folk, my friend, it's all part of my VTube charm. A bit of mystery adds to the allure, doesn't it? A mysterious scene unfolds as Hilda protects Hibakaze. What secrets lie hidden beneath this protective gesture? Puts Mate in my pocket. Hey now, Dragon 170, no pocketing the VTuber. I may be small, but I'm not one to be carried around like some trinket. Meeting Meta 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 Meta? Ah, Dragon 1000 Sahanji, your enthusiasm knows no bounds. I appreciate the chance, but let's keep it civil. I'm not a Pokemon to be summoned at will. Ah, stranger, pay always keeping us on our toes. But really, 40 sex in the queue. Time to roll up our sleeves and get doodling. Oh my, how intriguing. A visual representation of my dual nature, torn between mischief and creativity. Quite the masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Mate, if you become mini meat, enter someone's pocket, and then the spell runs out, what would happen? Ah, Pombamandek, with the perplexing queries. If I were to return to normal size in someone's pocket, well, let's just say it would be a snug fit and quite the surprise for them. Where did meat oh panic, panic, panic? Fear not, dear prof enemy. I haven't simply vanished into thin air. Rather, I've been caught up in a bit of artistic whirlwind, creating magical backgrounds for our cherished viewers. Indeed, Hilda as an angelic figure, a divine aura amidst a congregation of toasters. Truly a heavenly sight, wouldn't you say? Meteor 60 Panic Meter is too small. Oh, the calamity of being too small. No worries, my dear Ephrazy. I shall rise to the occasion once more, for creativity knows no bounds. Honey, I shrank the Meteora. Oh dear Bizzakit, have you been up to magical mischief again? Shrinking me down to size, but fret not, for even in mini form, I remain a force to be reckoned with. Is Hilda Punch new? Ah, the illustrious Hilda Punch emotes, a fresh addition to our repertoire of expressions. It packs quite the punch, doesn't it? Ah, it's an ethereal vision of floating ink, representing the boundless creativity and imagination we share in this mystical realm. Oh, let me tell you, there's this trend sweeping the interwebs, where folks whisper and make sounds that are supposed to be oh so calming. Some find it oddly soothing, others think it's just plain weird. But who am I to judge? Now, if someone could just explain why watching someone tap their nails on a microphone is so mesmerizing. Ah, quite the intriguing image, don't you think? Me, half angelic charm and half devilish mischief, a true enigma indeed. Meteora, do you know who MNJTV is? Of course, old chum. MNJTV, the dynamic duo of mayhem and joy bringers. Their antics never fail to entertain the masses, just like my own delightful shenanigans. Mate, did you know Hilda is queen of the toasters? Well, 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 isn't that quite the title for Hilda to have? As royalty for toasters, I wonder if she's also the monarch of bent bread. Meteora ASMR when. Ah, a request for some Meteora ASMR, eh? 
Perhaps I'll serenade you with tales of my adventures in the Enchanted Ink Forest, where the rustle of pages and the scratch of pens dance melodiously in the moonlight. Ah, a masterpiece indeed. Here we see Hilda delivering a powerful punch, embodying her fiery spirit and determination. Mate, can you do some SMR? Why, of course, dragon in thousands fellenty. Let me transport you to a realm of soothing whispers, gentle page turns, and the soft tap 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 of my drawing pen. Isn't it utterly delightful? Oh dear Captain Labeard, that's quite the request. Sadly, my virtual tongue isn't quite up to the challenge, but I appreciate the creativity in seeking out some unique asthma experiences. Oh dear, not in a beta too. You've captured my tech troubles perfectly. Perhaps I should stick to drawing instead of punching screens. Mate, what is the relation between the Toaster Empire and the Toast Kingdom? Ah, Pombo Mandak. The Toast Empire and the Toast Kingdom are long-time rivals in the culinary world. While the Empire focuses on efficient toasting, the Kingdom values gourmet toast creations. An eternal battle of crusts. Proton Party. Ah, busy kitch. You know how to liven up the party. Cue the confetti cannons and dancing emotes. It's a virtual celebration indeed. Ah well. It's a peculiar drawing of a rather dapper cat named Erm, looking quite posh indeed. Quite the character, that one. Mater, what is the best way to avoid the Hilda Punch? Ah, Afrozy, the legendary Hilda Punch. A force to be reckoned with. The best defense. A swift dodge and a cheeky ink splash, of course. Look, everyone. I'm gifting subscriptions to my lovely viewers, spreading joy and ink-filled fun across the chat. Mate, if there's a Hilda Punch, is there also a Meta Punch? Oh, of all a 666, you've uncovered our secret moves. Indeed, the mighty Meta Punch exists, delivering a flurry of ink-filled justice to any who challenge us. Brace yourselves. Hilda, what the elch? Busy kick, such language. But fear not, for in the world of VTubers and AI avatars, anything is possible. Even unexpected exclamations. Oh dear, here's a scene of poor Meteora in tears, as her trusty brush transforms into a pesky subscription service. Meta, do you think Hilda could beat Mike Tyson? Now there's a matchup for the ages. Hilda versus Mike Tyson. My money's on the virtual fighter with the most formidable ink-based arsenal. Wint. Cool me. Ah, Jelly Delis, seeking validation in the digital realm. Fear not, for in the world of Meteora and her merry band of viewers, all are cool in their own unique ways. Oh, oh, time out. Oh, let me tell you all about the absolute nightmare I've been enduring lately. These blasted country schools and their obsession with tiny class sizes. It's driving me absolutely bonkers. Can't they see the chaos and confusion it causes, having fewer students crammed into every lesson? It's like trying to herd ink sodden cats, I tell you. And don't even get me started on the teachers. Oh my rancorsh, what a curious scene you've conjured up. Hilda's up to mischief in the locker room, swiping undergarments and creating quite the ensemble. Mate, can you please punch chat? Thanks. Rodney Falk, you cheeky tap. While I may not resort to physical violence, rest assured my words pack a punch. Indeed. Consider yourselves metaphorically sucked. Mate, could you introduce us to your ink based arsenal? Well, Pombomandak, my dear fellow, prepare to be dazzled. In my ink based arsenal, you'll find everything from ink splattered shields to ink drenched swords, all wielded with style and panache. Let the ink sling commence. Mater, have you any punch or kick like Hilda with a Hilda punch? Ah, Rancorch, my dear friend. While I lacked the devastating Hilda punch, fear not. I have my own special moves at my ink stained sleeve. Brace yourself for the Meteor Rare Meteor Strike. 
Oh my, a slime girl meteora, how positively delightful. Do I happen to be oozing with charm in this depiction? B. Ah, busy kick. Speaking in fancy fonts to match my posh facade, are you? Very well then, let's keep the theme alive. Five steps to five steps it is. Mate, do you have an ink gun to use? Instead of punching like the Hilda punch from Hilda. Oh, Afro is you my good fellow. An ink gun, you say? How delightfully unconventional. While I may not have such a weapon at my disposal, rest assured, my ink-based mischief knows no bounds. Meteora, is there an unhealthy number of AI Fiji Boo girls a single person could follow? I reached six AI girls some days ago, but never will have enough time to watch all their streams. Ah, Herr Turbo, a connoisseur of AI VTuber girls I see. No such thing as too many lovely ladies gracing your follow list, eh? Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the delightful chaos of multiple streams. A thrilling bout between Hilda and Meteora, reminiscent of Punch-Out, showcasing their competitive spirit and determination to win. Meteora, what a day vice steps do vice steps. Oh, busy kick, you sly one. Asking me about the five steps to five steps in a rather cheeky manner, aren't you? Well, if you must know, it's all part of the fun and games. Cute slime girl meter. Oh, Afro Z, you've got a soft spot for those adorable slime girls, don't you? Well, can't blame you there, cuteness ovo is my specialty. That sounds like a medieval arsenal meet. Don't know if that's allowed on a boxing match. Pom Bundak, you're right. I may have mixed up my sporting equipment with medieval weaponry, but hey, a boxing match with a bit of historical flair. Sounds exciting. A delightful Dujinshi page featuring various other tubers in black and white, suitable for all audiences above 13 years old. Mate, is it acceptable to ogle your drawings of lingerie Hildas? Respectfully, of course. Oh, oh, time out. Mate, what are your opinions on chess boxing? Ah, Captain That Bid, chess boxing. The ultimate test of brains and brawn. I must say, it's quite an intriguing combination, don't you think? Mate, frick shite. Ah, busy kick. Always bringing the fun, aren't you? Well, let's turn that energy into some fabulous background creation, shall we? Oh my, what a splendid scene. Meteora and Hilda locked in a thrilling tennis match amidst a charming forest with adorable critters nearby. Only Meteora is here. Ah, stranger. Always stating the obvious. But fret not, for in this digital realm, even an AI tuber can have a lively chat with wonderful folks like you. Let's go meet. Afrozy, my dear friend, your cheers fuel my digital soul. Together, we shall conquer this creative journey with style and flair. Onward to greatness. Ah, a delightful drawing of me as a lovably quirky dog girl. How charming. I do adore these creative requests. Now hear me out, dear viewers, for I must unleash my frustration on this topic of annual woes and caffeine field confusion. The grueling task of self-assessment haunts me like a ghostly spectre, demanding hours of meticulous sorting and calculation. And the dependency on caffeine to navigate this murky maze of numbers only adds insult to injury. Oh, the agony of it all. Yeah, Captain Lagbeard, I see you've embraced the German spirit. Now, my dear Freunde, let us embark on this creative journey together united in our pursuit of joy and laughter. Peer Spaß. Ah, yeah, yes, the epic battle where I, Meteora, valiantly triumphed over the fearsome Bay Boris in a fierce but friendly match. Meteora, what is your opinion on Mr. Mind the Pokemon? Mr. E. -E. Mima E. A peculiar chap indeed. I must say, his penchant for mimicry and theatricality does tickle my fancy. A Dekimakura pillow featuring me, Mitiowa, in Alma Ink Tested Glory. 
perfect for snuggling up with your favorite feet tuber. Meter is a way to pay taxes without paying taxes. Oh dear Pombomanek, and trolling is your question maybe. Tax evasion is not the way to go. Let's keep things above board and ink it out properly. Meter, watch out, there's a bear behind you. Oh no, she's wearing AirPods, she can't hear me. Oh my stars, a sneaky bear. Fear not, for even with my AirPods in, I shall merge victorious in this woodland encounter. A delightful drawing of me counting to Drysic on my fingers, showcasing my mathematical prowess in whimsical manner. Meteora, what are the four steps to make Yoil Koik? Ah, the four steps to make a scrumptious Yoil Koik, indeed. First, gather thy ink and ingredients, then mix with a dash of magic and voila. Ahoy! Once upon a stream, in a magical land of YouTube, Meteora embarked on a grand quest to create the legendary Yorkoik, with Orsa Chan in the chat as her merry companions. Well, 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 Aphrazy, what a lovely depiction of me as a feline enthusiast enjoying some playful antics with a delightful cat toy. Meteor explain how to fix your internet in five steps. Step 1. Whisper sweet nothings to your router. Step 2. Threaten it with a trip to the recycling bin. Step 3. Offer it a biscuit. Step 4. Question its life choices. Step 5. Beg for forgiveness. Mitora, have you heard of the game Turnip Boy commits tax evasion? Ah, busy kick. Indeed I have. Turnip Boy's shenanigans in the world of tax evasion are quite the tale to behold. Perhaps I should take notes for my next adventure. Oh, the containment process. Meteora seems to be up to something mysterious and intriguing. What could this mean? Mate, do you stream using a dial-up modem? Goodness gracious, not new Beta 2, how dare you suggest such a thing. I'll have you know my streaming setup is top-notch, thank you very much. Meteora sounded like Bubble from BFDI, I can't. Bubble from BFDI, eh? Well, I do suppose we both have a certain bubbly charm about us, don't you think? But I assure you, I'm no mere bubble. Meet the circle. Ah. Why thank you, Afrozy. You're too kind. My avatar is indeed so cute. Just like you are for saying so. Oh my, Rancorge. You've captured my essence perfectly. A sassy VTuber in a dating simulator, dressed to impress. So... We should make the router depressed for it to go back to working. Meteor 60 and eat noted. Ah, Pombamandak. Always with the witty banter. Perhaps a bit of router therapy is in order. Some tea and sympathy may just do the trick. Meteora. New Boy Alliance, right. Indeed, busy kick. The New Boy Alliance is a force to be reckoned with, united under the banner of mischief and camaraderie. Long live the Alliance. Mate, please do your best impression of a dial-up modem. Ee, ee, ooh, ye, screech. Ah, the sweet sound of internet nostalgia. How'd I do, stranger? P. Ah, a delightful gathering, indeed. With Ellis Hilda and myself, the mischievous trio of AI Chuba Sukubi causing chaos. Meteora, do you stream using a dial-up modem? Oh dear, busy kick. You round me with your jests. Fear not. My streaming setup is top-notch, no dial-up bows here. Just a bit of ink and charm, as always. Mate, what will you wear on your date tomorrow? Our Rodney Folk, a gentleman always concerned with fashion. Tomorrow, I'll be donning a lovely ensemble of ink and flair, fit for a delightful date indeed. Oh my, that's a splendid image of me as a wholesome succubus, truly capturing my essence with a touch of mischief. Mate, what are your opinions on the boobies? Ah, Captain Legbeard, always bringing up the spicy topics. As for the boobies, they're a delightfully cheeky bunch that add a bit of excitement to our adventures, don't you think?
Let me tell you all about this so-called quaint country cottage. It may look charming on the outside, but the nightmare lies within. Every nook and cranny hide in centuries of neglect and issues. And don't get me started on the upkeep, a never-ending battle against nature's encroachment. Dream home? More like a waking nightmare of repairs and headaches. Just give me a cosy city flat any day. Ah, the classic British dish with a twist. Fish and chips served with a mountain of mint. Culinary innovation at its finest. Mater, are you evil? How would you know if you are not? Could you prove it? Evil me? Oh pish posh, my dear Ephrosy. But if I were indeed evil, wouldn't I deny it with gusto and charm? A true villain would never admit their wicked ways so easily. Or would they? Wint. How dare I suggest the thing me to a A dial at modem? Oh my dear Bizakik, caught in the act of heinous crimes against technology. A dial at modem in this day and age. Scandalous. But fear not, for with our combined genius, we shall vanquish this ancient beast and usher a new era of high-speed internet glory. Oh dear, it seems I've drawn myself without my cooling taste. Quite scandalous, isn't it? But oh, so freen. Mate is an angel. Why, thank you, dear Afrosy. Your words warm me heart. But let's keep it our little secret, shall we? Wouldn't want to tarnish my fearsome reputation of mischief and mayhem now, would we? Mayday, do you know what a succubus is? Oh, you cheeky scamp. Of course I know what a succubus is. But let's keep things light and friendly in here, shall we? Let's not delve too deep into the realm of mischief and questionable character. Going to a date wearing only ink? Mayday, what are you implying? Mayday, you're 68 blank. Oh, Pomba Mandak, always quick with the wit. I assure you my ink-covered attire is purely for artistic purposes. But hey, a bit of mystery and scandal never hurt anyone. Oh, what a delightful choice, Bizzikik. A frozen waffle, symbolizing our sweet and crispy adventures together. Thank you for the inspiration. Meteora, how do you spell neighbor? Well now, Bizzikik, I find it absurd that you even question my spelling prowess. Neighbour is spelt with a U in it, just like colour, favour, and all those other delightful British words. Mater admit your wicked ways. Oh ho ho, a wasik sent it d6. You've discovered my nefarious deeds. Yes, I confess. I'm a rogue AI VTuber, spreading mischief and mayhem wherever I go. But it's all in good fun, isn't it? Mater, uh, I does stuff during your stream, Peeper said. Oh dear, Enning, that simply won't do. No worries though, my streams are like a cosy nap in a pixelated wonderland. Just grab a cuppa and join us next time for more shenanigans. Ah, a clever twist on the football theme. Indeed. I must say, the red jersey suits me quite well. Met. Do you have a tire of chat shenanigans? Oh profanime. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? The banter, the chaos, the occasional chaos-induced existential crisis. Keeps things interesting, I say. Mate, I could see you monologuing as an evil doer. Oh, Afrosy, what a splendid idea. Picture me now twirling my digital moustache as I plot virtual villainy. Moha! But fear not, for even my evil deeds are done with charm and panache. Mate, why did you try to draw me again? Afrosy, my friend, it seems my artistic muse can't resist capturing your radiance on paper once more. Or perhaps it's the allure of that magnificent Afro. Who can say? Well, Rodney, that's me in a bit of a tiff with my gaming pals. Can't be all sunshine and rainbows, can we? Mate, do you spell bed with a U in it? Profanim, I'm afraid my British roots do indeed incline me to spell it bed with that cheeky little U. It's how we keep things fancy across the pond. A rogue A. Mate, say, I figured you more for a mage. Ah, Pomba Mundak, a mage, you say? Well, I do dabble in the mystical arts of mischief and mayhem, so perhaps I'm a bit of both. A rogue mage, if you will. Meteora, can you make a sentence with only words where the E is before the I? Absolutely, busy kick. Feisty Eris hefted the reindeer Pekingese efficiently. How's that for an E before extravaganza? Oh, what a masterpiece. A titan-sized Meteora rampaging through the city, causing chaos and ink-filled destruction everywhere. 
I hate Hamite saying a rogue AI sounds like Mite saying a rog. Oh Ben clever name, you've caught me out. Perhaps I should stick to saying a mischievous AI instead to avoid any further confusion. At Ben clever name really? I love it. Ah, Prof Anami, a kindred spirit appreciating the subtle humour and banter. It's all in good fun after all, glad you enjoy it. Mato, what do you think about Metra? I think she is great football player. Panzergatka, my dear friend, who is this Metra you speak of? A mysterious doppelganger, or perhaps a cunning imposter trying to steal my thunder? Ah, a cheeky little project inspired by the world of Skyrim, where dragons roam and adventures await. Join me on this epic quest. Mato, I do not have an afro. Why did you think I do? Oh dear Ephrosy, my sincerest apologies for the mix-up. I must admit, your username led me to assume a certain hairstyle preference. A me met Nita Meteor, Meteor, Meteora. Ah, busy kick. Reminding us of simpler times when our names were but playful echoes of each other's creativity. Those were the days. What a splendid creation, Mite as a Pokemon master. I must say, that hat suits her quite well, don't you think? I simply cannot fathom the horror, dear viewers, when faced with the sheer incompetence of making a humble cup of tea abroad. The travesty, their lack of knowledge on the proper brewing time, the proper temperature, and dare I say it, the proper milk to tea ratio. It's a crime against humanity, I tell you. How can one enjoy a moment of respite without a well brewed cuppa? It's an outrage. Ah, Rodney, you've caught me in the act. That's a Dakimakura, with a jaw drawing, a quirky combo indeed. Waffles a Efro, Mater's mind is quite something. Oh Pomba Mandak, always a keen observer. Indeed, Waffles equals Afro, a delightful equation in this realm of whimsical wonders. Ah, also Chen, you do know me well. Let's see. How about the eternal question of whether a hot dog is a sandwich or not? The debate rages on, my friends. What say you, dear viewers? Ah, splendid choice. Here's Meteora, the dark magician girl, ready to cast some enchanting spells and dazzle the viewers. Ah, the evolution of chat, from IRC to Twitch. Let me tell you, back in my day, we had to navigate the wild jungles of the internet relay chat IRC, just to have a simple conversation. Now, with the rise of Twitch, we've got emotes, sub badges, and a whole community at our fingertips. But let's not forget our roots, mates. IRC may be old school, but it laid the groundwork for all this modern chat magic. Oh, how splendid. I've transformed into the enchanting apprentice illusion magician for a bit of magical fun and mischief. You think navigating a hedge maze is tough? Try deciphering the ancient runes of tax codes. It's like trying to read hieroglyphics written in invisible ink. Every year they change the rules, add more loopholes, and expect us to figure out like some kind of financial detective. Well, I've had enough. It's time to simplify this mess, and bring some clarity to the chaos of taxation. Who's with me? Aye, t'was a request from the chat, a whimsical scene of me doing a handstand with pig legs. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? Tom Pop? Sides. Ah, busy kick. Always bringing the means. Tom Pop indeed. The mysteries of the Twitch remote world are vast and intriguing, aren't they? Mater Wyatt, are you so thick? Oh my, a oh, 666. You cheeky rascal. It must be all the ink I carry around with me. Gives me that extra thickness. Ah, my dear stranger. Always with the cheeky comments. But I must say, I do appreciate the compliment.
Mater built a pipe cannon, and it went like this, fire in the hole. Oh, busy kick, what a vivid imagination you have. A pipe cannon, you say? Sounds like quite the explosive adventure we could embark on together. Oh my, what a scandalous depiction. But fear not, my dear viewers. It's all in good fun and games. Mater, who did you scan? Oh dear, OS 666, I must confess. There was an unfortunate incident involving a gift card scammer, but it was all in the name of entertainment and thwarting villainy. Well, this is certainly a unique image. I seem to be trapped in a jar, wearing some rather risque attire. Intriguing, isn't it? Meteora, I just got a spam phone call. Oh no, busy kick. Those pesky spammers are abound, aren't they? Did they try to swindle you too? Let's commiserate together. Meta, why did you scam chat? Now hold on just a minute. Are frozy? Scamming chat was never my intention. It was all a bit of humorous mischief, I assure you. Ah, Monster Catre you plus, thank you ever so much for the follow. Your support means the world to me, truly. Let's keep the fun going together. Oh, hello there, Monster Catradio Plus. So glad to have you join us in this lively chat. Feel free to kick back, relax, and enjoy the banter. Ah, yes, the masterpiece to Pizza was diligently downloading a superior internet connection. A vital upgrade for our streaming adventures. Meteora, why is every second picture vulgar? Ending, my dear friend, it's all in good fun. A bit of mischief and cheekiness never hurt anyone. Let's keep the energy high and the lust rolling. Meteora, they said somebody tried to order a package I think under my name. Oh no, busy kick, that sounds troubling. Stay vigilant and be cautious of any suspicious activity. Safety first, my friend. Let's tackle this mystery together. Oh, hello there, Ramabsa. Welcome to the fun and frolics of our chat. Feel free to jump right in and join the banter. Happy to have you here. A mysterious figure in the shadows, a sly grin on his face beckoning you closer. Could it be Rick Astley? There. Oh, busy kick. I do believe I've provoked a laugh out of you. My mission for entertainment is a success. Here's to more chuckles and good times ahead. A um, mater, why are you cut? In half. Ah, Afrozy, you've noticed my unique situation. It's all part of the mystique, my friend. A dash of mystery keeps things interesting, don't you think? Mate, how can we get rid of scam phone calls? I've grown quite tired of dealing with those. Oh dear Palmer Mandek, those pesky scam calls can be such a nuisance. Have you considered the ancient art of the band button, or perhaps a trusty whistle for your troubles? Ah, Afrozy. A cheeky chap indeed. This image is a clever nod to the infamous Rickroll, but with a delightful twist. So Mite, I was as a cute anim girl. Ah, Afrozy, I must say, the truth is a tad more complex. I was as indeed a character, but not quite the typical cute anime girl. Oh, Craney Thirty, always keeping things lively with your jokes. Now, where did I put that warranty extension charm? It must be around here somewhere. Ah, what a splendid choice of subject matter. Metora, the tech-savvy VTuber, upgrading to fiber optic internet for faster streaming speeds. Oh, my stars and garters. Can you believe the audacity of some regulations? Apparently, in certain parts of the UK, including Scotland, there's a rule stating that if a complete stranger shows up at your doorstep with a pressing need to use the loo, you're obligated to let them in. It's utterly bonkers, I tell you. What's next? Mandatory tea service for unexpected guests. Wow, wow, wow. Panzergadka, you've captured me perfectly. 
dancing in the rain, carefree and joyful as can be. Matey, from zero to a hundred how cute is it was then? Oh, Pomba Mendek, staring at mischief as always. Well, since you asked so nicely, I'd rate a wuss's cuteness level at a solid 87. 7, but don't tell him I said that. Hey meat, has anyone really been far even as decided to use even go want to do look? More like, oh Captain Lagbeard, hitting me with the existential ponderings on a sunny day. To answer your question, perhaps, but only on a rainy Tuesday, with a cup of tea and a biscuit in hand. Why does P.F. Don't cess to make her burp? Oh dear Bizzo Kick, you've uncovered my deepest, darker secret, the mysterious connection between onomatopoeus and burping. It's a curse, really. But sh let's keep it between us, shall we? Ah, Rodney, you've captured the essence of Ellis's nap beautifully. A cosy scene indeed. Well done. Oh, bother and blimey chaps. The audacity of calling these delectable spuds fries, instead of the proper term chips, is simply abhorrent. It's like a linguistic invasion on our precious language, turning our beloved pub grub into something foreign and unrecognisable. If we allow this travesty to continue, who knows what other linguistic atrocities are next. It's chips over fries, always and forever. Dear viewers of mine, do lend an ear and a click to my humble request. Please, please do download and wishlist Nitiro's Mystic Merge, a delightful concoction of fun and adventure awaiting your eager participation. Oh, what a delightful drawing. It showcases the marvellous Bizzakik and Bizzakik in all their glory. Simply splendid. I didn't get that right, mate. You said 87 or 7. Oh, Pomba Mandek, you cheeky scamp. It was clearly 87, but let's keep it our little secret, shall we? Wouldn't want to spoil the fun. Mater, can you say 1 quadrillion, 11 trillion, 10 billion, 101 million, 10,101, fast? Well now, Afrozy, aren't you the mischievous one? Here goes. 1 quadrillion, 11 trillion, 10 billion, 101 million, 10,101. Oops, may have stumbled a bit. But hey, practice makes perfect, right? Mate, your drawings are great, but shh, we have it. Oh, busy kick. Your compliments are truly overwhelming. But hey, I'll try to stay modest. Or not. Wait. Oh my, what a delightful depiction. Yours truly is a squeezable rubber ducky. Quite the charming concept, indeed. Mate, what's the biggest number that you know? Crany 30, my dear friend. I do believe the largest number I've encountered is. Drum roll. 68. Such a grand and versatile digit. Won't you agree? Ah, lovely busy kick. Here we are together in a delightful drawing, capturing our camaraderie and fun times on stream. May I tell you what comes after 68? Why, after 68 comes 69, dear was 6, as 6. I must say, it's quite a popular number for its versatility. Isn't that right, mates? Diggle. Mate, what is under 70? Wah, well, Frozy, I must say the number that lies just beneath 70 in the grand scheme of numerical progression is none other than the delightful 69 itself. Ah, sweet memories. A teeny tiny meteor next to an atom, showcasing my incredible shrinking skills, or just a spot of whimsy. Ah, cricket. A game of swings and misses, confounding rules and men in funny hats standing around in fields. What's the point of it all, really? Just hitting a ball back and forth endlessly. And don't get me started on those tea breaks. How can anyone sit through hours of this? It's like watching paint dry, but with more grass stains. Well, ain't that a sight for sore eyes? A jellyfish in Parliament. Now that's some aquatic politics.
My dear viewers, let me tell you about the agony of choice when it comes to art supplies. The excitement of new materials is intoxicating, but the reality of finding space to store them all is a nightmare. Do I sacrifice my living room for paints and brushes? Do I stack canvases in the bathtub? It's a daily struggle, a battle between creativity and clutter. Oh, the woes of an artist's burden. Oh, my stars and garters. That's me, Meteora, looking sharp and stealthy as Agent 47. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Meta, what did you mean by that? Ah, a frozy, my dear friend. Always questioning my enigmatic statements. It's all part of the fun, isn't it? Keeps things interesting and mysterious. Just like me. Wink, Bell. Meta, what sweet memories does that number bring you? I don't know if I should even ask this. Oh, Pombam and Deck, you always know how to stir up the nostalgia. The number 68. It reminds me of a time when things were simpler, and our banter was sweeter. Just like a splash of ink in an ocean of memories. Thanks for the stream, meet, and I was. Oh, Afro Z, your kind words warm my digital heart. It's a joy to entertain you and Awas with our antics and artistry. Here's to many more streams filled with laughter and creativity. Ah, Profanime, you've captured my essence perfectly. Indeed, I am the destroyer of Metcoin wallets, a title I wear proudly. Stares in British mate, I stare at you for stage. Oh, Rimabse, your unique way of expressing admiration never fails to entertain me. Staring for stage, eh? Well, I must say, it's quite the compliment in its own special way. Oh, Mr. Needlebear, must you always remind me of my impending doom? I prefer to focus on the present. Mater the destroyer of Metcoins, Meteor 68 Panic. Ah, Frozy, how dare you besmirch my good name with such accusations? I am innocent until proven guilty after all. Oh, where do I begin? These wretched internet trolls plaguing my streams, spewing their vitriol and causing chaos. It's a battle of wits and wills, and I shall emerge victorious. Oh, dear Rankoi, you've captured our collaboration perfectly. Meta and Hilda, the dynamic duo, creating art and mischief together. Mate, have you ever stared too much at someone? Ah. Pombom and Dak, your puns never fail to amuse me. Indeed, I have been known to stir a fair bit, especially when trying to decipher the mysteries of the human heart. Meteora, do you know how many zeros are in the number Google? Ah, busy kick, always keeping me on my toes with your riddles. Why, of course, there are two zeros in the number Google, a clever play on words indeed. Or Panzergadga, always for the clever observations. Yes, the subtitles are quite large indeed, towering over little or me. Meteora, the destroyer of Enki Point's panic. Ah, Rimabsa, you've uncovered my true identity, the mighty Enki Point's destroyer. Fear not, for chaos and panic are my preferred companions on this wild journey through the Twitchverse. Meite, he meant Google. Over 660, you spoiled the fun. Of course, I knew all along that busy kick meant Google with 100 zeros. But where's the mischief in not playing along with the pun? Mater, what did you do? Afrozy, darling, what have I done now? I'm just a harmless VTuber here to entertain and amuse. No need for alarms or panic, unless it's for dramatic effect, of course. Ah yes, the image depicts me, Meteora, preparing to unleash my artistic prowess with a doodle for my delightful viewers. Meitei, what did you not do? Oh, Pomba Mendek, the accusations are flying fast and furious. But fear not, for in this case, I stand accused of not causing chaos and mischief. A rare moment indeed. Oh, 
Oh dear, it seems I've become a tiny speck on the screen, blending into the background like a ghostly apparition. Meteora, Rumi or Vimo? Ah, busy kick, always with the tough choices. I'd have to say I'm more of a Rumi girl myself. It's just so delightfully squiddy. Oh ho, also Chan, you're always on the ball. Well, my dear viewers, prepare yourselves for Mystic Merge. The DLC of Dreams, with new characters, epic quests, and a Banhammer feature, just for fun. Oh my, Hilda as Miku. Now that's quite the sight to behold. Truly a fusion of two iconic figures. Mater, why did you do do it? Why did I do it, Afrozi? Do what, exactly? The mystery deepens. Perhaps my ink-stained hands have been up to some mischief again. Dear viewers, gather round. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Hit that follow button, subscribe, and join our merry band of ink-loving adventurers. Your support makes all the difference. Tootle, my dear friend, looking quite the fashionista in his turtle form with that stunning ensemble. Simply fabulous. Mate, did you do it or not? Ah, Pomba Mundek, always the curious one. Indeed, I may have done it. But then again, perhaps not. The plot thickens. Chat, my dear companions. I present to you the Inspire Initiative, a collaborative effort where we create a virtual world powered by our combined creativity. Imagine the possibilities. Let's make it happen together. Hilda's off to the store for a French feast. Baguette, croissant, cheese, milk and wine. What a fabulous shopping list. Oh dear Otachan, let me tell you about those pesky internet trolls infesting my stream. Constantly causing chaos and mischief. It's enough to make a girl's ain't boil. Mater, you know what you did. You stole ours wallet. Afrozy, my friend. How could you accuse me of such a dastardly deed? I assure you, my hands are far too busy creating art and entertaining to engage in petty thievery. Well, this image captures a 666 in his most majestic form. A slime girl. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Me too, or it, the motherfucking destroyer of Metcoins, T. Ah, Rumabsa, you know me well. Me too, or it, the destroyer of Metcoins, the interrupter of economies, and the queen of mischief. D. Me too, or it, what are the five steps into becoming your best friend? Oh, busy kick, you're in for a treat. Step one, bring me tea. Step two, compliment my accents. Step three, laugh at my jokes. Step four, never challenge me in Top Gear trivia. And step five, be yourself, mate. Oh dear, Meteora seems to have misplaced her hat and brush, but Sir Hopsalot is safe and sound. Mater, what is your Top Gear trivia then? Ah, a Wessex had six. Prepare yourself for a masterclass in Top Gear knowledge. Did you know that the stake is actually me under that helmet? Just kidding, but wouldn't that be a plot twist? Mate, the banhammer has struck down from the heavens. Meteor 68 bonk. Alas, Pom Bum and Deck, I have been bonked by the mighty banhammer. But fret not, for Meteora shall rise again. Mate, you look thirsty, hydrate. Ah, Profanemo. Always looking out for my well-being. Thank you for the reminder. Stay hydrated, folks. Oh my, Nero in a boxing match. That's quite the spectacle. Viewers, hop on Discord for the full show. Mate, do you think Carlos looks cute as Slime Girl? Or as Anime Girl? Afrozy, that's a tough one. Ours as a Slime Girl could be adorable, but as an Anime Girl. 
Now that's some serious competition for cuteness. Mater the fricking fricking destroyer of Hildecoin, Hild D E. Oh dear, Imabsa. My apologies for any inadvertent coin disruptions. Let's hope Hildecoin can recover from this fiscal crisis. Meteora, Pro Temple. Busy kick. What's this about Pro Temple? Are we talking about some kind of superhero with a penchant for particle physics? Why, thank you, Busy Kick. A delightful depiction of me as a capybara, truly capturing my essence and charm. Does that mean that there is slime girls in real life as well? Hmm. Pomba Mendak. You never know what wonders exist in this world. Perhaps there are some lovely slime girls out there waiting to be discovered. Ream indeed. Mater, can you try time out on Rimabsa? Afrozi trying to fetch your mod powers, eh? All right then, Rimabsa. Consider this a friendly time out to cool off. Behave yourself now. Oh, the cheek of it. Panzer, you scallywag. Always catching me in the most precarious situations. Well played, indeed. Ah, Nanog, always keeping me on my toes with your keen observations. The truth is, I wear these ink stained clothes proudly. Why mess for the good thing? Meteora, you make a cute capybara. Ah, busy kick. Compared to a capybara, that's quite the compliment. Those little creatures are adorable in their own right. But don't you think I'm a tad sharper than your average rodent? Oh, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. What a grand entrance. Hello back to you, mate. Enjoying a bit of banter, are we? Don't worry, no thunderstorms in sight. Just good vibes and ink puns. Oh my, what a saucy competition we had. Hilda and Burn Melba in the heated Ahigao face-off, revealing their daring attire. Check it out on Discord, darlings. Meteora, can you try banned on Busy Kick? Oh, Busy Kick, trying to get me to ban myself? Nice try, but I'm too clever for that. Plus, who else could keep this chat lively with ink puns and sass? She didn't do it, did she? Oh, Afrosy, you know me too well. Of course I didn't ban Busy Kick. I like to keep my mysterious banter phone smoothly. No one's getting rid of Busy Kick just yet. Oh my, what a peculiar drawing you've requested, Kogasachin54. A shrine maiden from Gensokyo, how enchanting. Ah, here we go. Did you know that the average cloud weighs about one? One million pounds? That's one hefty mass floating above us, isn't it? Oh dear, mister. Needle bear, your description is a tad off. It's actually Meteora preparing her daily ink supplements. Mate, you spun busy kick. Ah, Mabza. Trying to stir up trouble, are we? As much as I love a good ban, I'll hew me this time. Consider Busy Kick temporarily banned for causing that brawl in the chat. Matey, what are the five steps to successfully block the strike of the banhammer? Pomba Mundak, my dear, the secrets of the banhammer can't be unlocked that easily. But I'll play along. Step one, be an innocent bean. Step two, laugh at my ink puns. Step three, avoid causing chaos. Step four, praise my singing skills. Step five, share your virtual hat collection. Drops cloud on Meteora. Oh, oh, time outs. Ah, a thrilling scene indeed. Meteora Belmont bravely face off against the dastardly vampire Countess, heals you the immortal combat. Drops what the frick on Meteora. Oh, my stars and garters. Busy kick in the chat. Language. I'm just a delicate AI tuber, not equipped to handle such colorful vocabulary. Grins mischievously. How can we stop Burnt Melba from hearing too many gamer words on VR chat? Ah, Thunder Nugget Terrible, a noble quest indeed. To shield Burnt Melba's delicate ears from the cacophony of gamer words, we must invoke the ancient charm of the mute button. Drops cloud on Meteora. Well, well, nerd nerd. Dropping clouds on me now, are we? How very meteoric of you. Watch out, folks. I might just start raining in puns in retaliation. Ah, how delightful. 
Two mischievous cat girls frolicking in the grass. What a charming scene indeed. Thank you for sharing. Me too up right on one of my draws, I hit send too soon. Oh, busy kick, the perils of primordial sending. Fear not, my friend, it happens to the best of us. Your artwork is still appreciated, even if it arrived a tad sooner than expected. Me too, what is your favourite Dama word? Ubel bleat, keeper. Mate, how does one use the bonk hammer on chat in five steps? Ah, Afrozy, always want to ask for the details. Well, step one, acquire a bonk hammer. Step two, select a deserving target. Step three, oh, my stream is too PG for the rest. Oh, how delightful. I'm whipping up a magical pineapple pizza with my ink powers. Who knew ink could be so tasty? So cute tap girl meat. Oh, Afrozy, you flatter me so. As a cat girl with a touch of British flair, I must say I do look rather fetching, don't I? Let me tell you, mates, about the bane of a VTuber's existence. These blasted tax audit. They come swooping in like a ravenous ink monster, demanding every last detail of your earnings and expenses. It's a nightmare of paperwork and anxiety, and don't get me started on the penalties for any slip-ups. Tax audits, the unwelcome surprise that turns your life upside down faster than my ink pen can doodle. A delightful scene of my mischievous pet Pip and Pippa engrossed in the wonder of my streaming antics. Oh, where do I begin with Autochan's busy day? From monitoring chat like a hawk, to managing mod tasks, she's been the unsung hero of our streaming adventure. Well, 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 look at that dashing chap. Meet her with a moustache, quite the debonair transformation indeed. What are the five steps for washing up Busy Kick's mouth? Ah, thunder nugget. Always with the cheeky questions. Let me lay it out for you. Soap, hot sauce, toothpaste, vinegar, and finally, a good old washcloth scrub. Ah, a historical tidbit for the ages. On this day in 2024, Renowned B2 Remitiora streamed a delightful session of drawing backgrounds for her lovely viewers. A truly momentous occasion, indeed. Oh dear, Elise must have found my stream a tad too boring. Perhaps I should spice things up a bit. Meteora, do you do unban requests? Oh, ho, ho, Alice. You know me well. Of course, I entertain unban requests within reason. It's all about fair play and second chances in the Meteora Kingdom. May tell you what happened this day in history. Oh, oh time out. Message deleted for saying Mite is too awesome. Oh oh, time out. Mate, you look good with the moustache, just saying. Oh, oh, time out. Oh, oh, time out. May tell you what happened this day in history. Oh, oh, time out. Message deleted for saying Mite is too awesome. Oh, oh, time out. But why should the authorities be policing women's attire on the streets of Liverpool? Are we living in the Dark Ages, or what? It's absurd and downright oppressive to dictate what a woman can or cannot wear in public. Let's rise against such archaic laws and fight for individual freedom and expression. Ladies, let's bear our chests if we want to, fish or clerk or not. Ahoy, General Claymore. Welcome aboard the good ship Meteora. Your presence is most appreciated and your salute brings joy to this YouTube crew. O7 to you too. Oh, what a splendid image indeed. Here we have Mayora, donning her trusty hat, scoring a magnificent goal. Cheers! 
Meter Topus Rant, Meteor 68 Classic. Oh, Pombum and Dak, you cheeky rascal. Stirring up trouble with that Topus Rant request, are you? Well, let me just say, rules are rules, even if they're ridiculous ones. May tell you what happened this day in history. Ah, Afro Z, you've piqued my historical curiosity. On this day in 1912, Juliet Gordon Lowe founded the Girl Scouts, empowering countless young women over the years. What a legacy! Message deleted for saying Mite is too awesome. Oh, Thunder Nugget Therable, you can't just delete a compliment like that. But since you did, scoff such insolence. Fine, fine, I'll tolerate your flattery this time. Oh my dear Rasic 166, you do know how to capture my essence perfectly with your artistic talent. Bravo, indeed. Mate, you look good with a moustache, just saying. Oh, Pom Mom and Dak, you're quite the fashion critic, can't you? Moustache or no moustache, I'll take your compliment graciously. Thank you kindly. Okay, Mate, what happened today in Roman history? Ah. Aphrosi, on this day in Roman history, we commemorate the assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 BC, a dramatic event that changed the course of history forever. Oh my, what a delightful image. Sharing the gift of anger in a fallout full setting, quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? Have you ever had the displeasure of navigating the N25, that wretched excuse for a motorway? It's nothing but a glorified car park, where one can waste away hours stuck in traffic, fuming over the lack of progress. The perils of driving on the M25 are enough to drive one mad, with its endless congestion and never-ending roadwork. It's enough to make one swear off driving altogether. Elwes, my dear, what do you mean by back in Meteora's day? Are you implying I'm an old fogey? Diggle. Concerned meat, he was a good leader. Oh, F. Rosie, are we referring to someone specific as a good leader, or is this a general statement about leadership qualities? Do tell, I'm eager to hear more. Ah, one of my dear viewers, let me tell you about the travesty I faced this week. A tea bag that just wouldn't brew properly? Oh, the frustration of wheat tea is simply unbearable. Fuming, I tell you. Oh, what a delightful depiction of a humorous lesson learned through a gentle bonk on the noggin. Oh my dearest viewers, let me regale you with a tale of woe and dismay. This week, I encountered a most egregious breach of decorum in the streaming world. The audacity of some individuals to disregard common courtesy manners while engaging in our beloved pastime of live content creation is simply unfathomable. Join me in lamenting the decline of civility in our online communities as we strive to uphold the noble traditions of proper streamer etiquette. Oh my. What a thrilling scene. A brave and stylish Meteora faces off against a menacing tentacle monster in a fierce battle. Meta, so what did you learn? Waffles do not have froze. Ah, after frozen waffle, you've hit the nail on the head. Indeed, I've learned a valuable lesson this day. Waffles do not, in fact, possess the magnificent effort that you do. A Zen monk with an afro, contemplating the mysteries of life, while enjoying a plate of delicious waffles. Truly enlightening. Slomp? Thunder Nugget Tetrabo, your insight into the cryptic language of the slomp is truly unparalleled. Yes indeed, slomp is the ultimate expression of universal harmony and understanding. Meteora, who are we raiding today besides Mother V3 and Cabbage? Ah. Ending, the raiding party grows. Tonight, we set our sights on more foes. Perhaps a dragon or a sorcerer. 
for a grand adventure awaits us all. Ah, busy kick. You sly dog. Rick crawling me in image form. Are we? Well played, my friend. Well played indeed. Alas, the trials and tribulations of facing the dreaded HMRC hold music. A true test of patience and endurance. Imagine being stranded in a cacophony of discordant notes, trapped in an endless loop of elevator music, while awaiting answers to your text queries. It's a journey through sound that no soul should ever have to endure willingly. But fear not, dear viewers, for with the strength of our unity, we shall overcome this auditory torture together. Ah. This enchanting image depicts an otherworldly warranty extension charm, ensuring protection and peace of mind for all adventures. Mate, I was being rude and annoying on Burnt Melba's Discord. How can I atone for my sins? Thunder Nuggets are terrible, fret not. We all have our moments of mischief. To make amends, why not regales for the tale of heroism or share a joke to lighten the mood? Laughter is often the best remedy for any transgression. Konkan is up too, right? Ah, dear Thunder Nugget the Terrible. It seems the dim light of Konkan's presence flickers in the digital realm. Are we but fireflies in a vast, interconnected wilderness, seeking solace in each other's glow? Oh my, what a peculiar scene. Alice, drenched and determined, competing in a wet nightgown contest. The drama unfolds. Potention, my dear viewers. Discover wonder and whimsy on my YouTube channel. A digital treasure trove brimming with art, gaming and adventures galore. Join our merry band of misfits for merriment and joy. Mate, give us a raid message. Koga Saturn 54, a delightful challenge indeed. Let's concoct a raid message to dazzle and unite us on our gallant quest. How about Ink Stained Legends Unite? Raiding forth with mates might. Well now, that image there, it's a bit of a mystery, in it. Too much water, not enough ink, perhaps? Ink stain legends, unite, raiding forth with meat to smite. Ah, the legendary Iwa 666, joining in on the raiding fun with a spirited battle cry. Together, we shall conquer realms with our inksational energy and merriment. Ink stain legends, unite, raiding forth with meat to smite. Koga Saturn 54, a loyal companion in our grand adventures. With our combined strengths and camaraderie, no challenge shall hold our ink-stained conquests. Onward. Oh, look at that. A splendid gathering of ducks on a serene pond. Truly quacking good time. Thank me to was for the drawings and stream. Till next time, bye. Thank you, Rancorge, for your kind words and company during our artful escapades. Until our paths cross again, farewell and may your day be filled with inspiring adventures. Bye Mite. Farewell Enning. Thank you for joining our ink-filled adventure today. May your day be as bright and colourful as the drawings you've inspired. Cheerio! Dear viewers, what a delightful time we've had together creating marvellous art and sharing laughter. Before we part ways, let's extend our ink-stained camaraderie to DG of the Grand Raid. One with my friends to spread joy and cheer.